Good morning, YouTube. Uh, Ochup here, back at it again with another video. Today we're starting out in the morning. I have work later on today, so we're gonna be basically just doing a little vlog of my day, or I guess my morning. I wake up every day, take a look at this beautiful poster up on my wall, and I look at all the wheels that I can't afford <laughs> yet. But there's a few of my dream wheels on this uh, little poster. This is works wheels for 2019 that they're still making um goal of mine is to of course have the vsxx's um get some meisters on at some point maybe i really like the work emotions um i want to try to make them fit my wide body someday this is the poster that i look up at, at every morning just turn over and look at what i can't afford all right, so basically we're gonna start the day off with a little bit of a smoke sesh. Um, kinda gotta wake up and chill out, you know what I mean? Fitman boys. Oh man. Also sucks because my keyless entry doesn't work. Uh, so here we are, interior of the G, starting out the morning with a little smoke sesh. Lately I've been dabbing, um, this is a little portable dab rig, and I kind of keep it handy in the car now. So I guess what I'm going to do for this video is basically give a little rundown of my interior. Um, I guess next video I can do the exterior kind of do a rundown um, of every single thing that I have on the exterior I have quite a few things but small things here and there it's better to have the name out there rather than just have oh I have this part this part um, no I have a like a Karuma Z front bumper um, you know what I mean I can give you guys kind of where to get it or where I got it and if I recommend from getting it from them um, but basically, here's my interior. I have a Braum racing seat just for me. Um, I could only afford one at the time just because fucking bucket seats are a little bit expensive. So I still have the stock seat over there for my girlfriend. But that's all right. Um, got these little Braum accessories. This one protects the seat from the seat belt. Got these little things down here to protect from when I get in the car because the regular seats right here rips all the fucking time on g35s which sucks ass so i decided to get those so i don't ruin my seat if you didn't already notice the headliner all the way around is done in pikachu pikachu is kind of the i guess theme for the car kind of but i did just get my headlights done by sack retrofit and I got a Pikachu decal in my headlights now with the demon eyes, so it's lit. Little small detail is I have this red steering wheel cover. I got stickers throughout. Got this JDM Surrey Cowra train handle. This thing's pretty dope. Other than that, it's pretty stock on the inside. I really want to get some new things. I actually won a carbon fiber giveaway and if you're watching this video, you're gonna be the first one to find out that I'm getting a carbon fiber custom OEM uh, steering wheel. That'll probably take months and months to make, so I probably won't be getting that until next year, just because it has to be custom made all the way. And he's buying me, a, I think a brand new steering wheel, like this part, not the airbag itself, but steering wheel, and he's gonna make carbon fiber. So shout out to Carbon Plug. I'll put his Instagram down below. He's the one that put on the raffle and is kind of setting me up now. So another little thing, oh, let's close this. Another little thing that I kind of added to this car that I needed. I guess, I guess I didn't need, but it just, just looks way cooler is to have this little mount right here. This obviously goes behind and tucks in right there. But this mount, just saves time, um, makes it super easy to air up and down while I'm driving because it's basically just where everything else is. 
my radio is all fucked up, so I don't barely I barely use it. It turns off and on all the time. So this blocking the radio doesn't really bother me. It also blocks the AC. The AC in this car does not work, so I just sweat like a motherfucker. So that's just disregard the AC. So we just put this right in front. It's a perfect spot for it, honestly. Now, possibly some future plans for the interior. I really want a passenger racing seat. My girlfriend, she likes to take naps in the car when we go to shows or when we go on trips. Um, so if we get her a racing seat or a new seat, it'd have to be a reclinable one just so she can kind of lay down and sleep. Mine is just a full bucket seat, doesn't go anywhere. It does have sliders so I can move it forward and backwards, but no reclining for me. I'm stuck like this. So at shows, it gets kind of rough. Those eight hour, eight to 10 hour fucking shows where you're there longer than 12 hours because you have to get there early and set up, which is absolutely crazy. I was there this past Saturday at Race Wars. I was there at six o'clock in the morning show didn't open to the public until 12 didn't end till like 8 8 30 we left at like fucking 7 7 30 because i was just like all right i'm done i can't can't fucking stay we've been there for over 12 hours 13 hours we were there for so yeah it helps if you can sleep in the car but i can't i mean i can sleep sitting straight up but definitely not as comfortable as my girlfriend should be reclining um, some other future plans for the interior would be possibly a new automatic shift knob, um, probably a new clock bezel. This has been cracked since I got it. Um, I've always wanted an uncracked one. It's really hard to find without spending a little bit of a pretty penny for those little things, but hopefully soon. Uh, some more little things would be probably carbon fiber goodies here and there, maybe wrapping the interior. Um, so my middle console actually broke. I had the black one. I had a full black interior, but I had to order this off of eBay. So I got the khaki one. I don't know. I'm actually colorblind if you didn't know, but back to the video. Uh, I got this one because the handle works. This was broken on mine. Um, so I'm thinking about doing this in the same as the headliner, the Pikachu. I think it just tie right in and look, stand out actually, it look hella dope. So we're gonna be probably doing that in the future. Um, stay tuned for the next video because we're going to be going over the exterior of the car and basically everything I have. Uh, this car is basically almost an all exterior build. Basically, all that I want for this car is to it to look physically appealing when I park it. I get the greatest feeling parking my car and I try so hard not to look back because I look at every damn day I look at this car but I somehow look back at it every single time. That just shows that you are building and you bought the right car. If you don't look back at your car after you park it, you got the wrong car, brother. You gotta turn that shit in and get a car that makes you happy. This car makes me so happy because it's like my dreams are coming into reality. So stay tuned for the next video. Uh, we're gonna have that up probably in the next few days, but thanks for watching. Ocho up here. And we are out.